Now, you don't often come across a superhero who doesn't even want their powers, but a new movie from DC Studios gives us a glimpse into what it looks like. It's called the Scarab. I had no idea it would activate. It has to choose you. So how do we get it to unchoose me? <laughs> how indeed. Blue Beetle follows uh, Jaime Reyes and his family after his body is taken over by a biotechnological alien relic. Well, naturally, that gives him superpowers. Director of the film, Angel Manuel Soto, joins us this morning to talk more about the movie. Welcome to your morning. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. I love watching you watch that film because you have a huge <laughs> smile on your face when you see it. Uh, this is your debut film with the DC Universe. Tell me about the moment that you found out you were going to direct it. Um, it was crazy. It was during the pandemic. Uh, I just came out of Sundance with my second film, Charm City Kings, and it felt like the world shut down, nothing was happening. And Galen Weisman, one of the executives at the sea, saw the movie and he loved it. And they were developing this story with a Mexican writer, Gareth Dumet Alcosen, and they were looking for a Latino director. So they were like, oh, maybe you should be the one doing this movie. So and I you got, agreed. <laughs> <laughs> at first I was a little bit hesitant, you know, because our representation in Hollywood hasn't been the best one. Mm -hmm. So I was not sure how they, wanna, they were going to represent the Latino in the family. Yeah. But after reading the script and seeing how authentic it was and how much it cared about who we are honestly and yeah. authentically, uh, I had to do it. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you is what <clears throat> was the turning point for you where you trusted them with that story? It was the script, to be honest. Uh, the script was so lived in. The characters were so lived in. You can tell that the writer based a lot of the experiences and the characteristics of each character on his own experiences. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he's from Mexico and I am from Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. we were both having the same shared experience, not just in pop culture, but with our families too. Yeah. So I could see a lot of myself and what I grew up in represented in that script. Yeah, so much responsibility comes with that representation, right? <clears throat> uh, we usually see superheroes hiding their identity from the people who are closest to them. But not in this movie. The entire family watches him <laughs> and shares in this transformation yeah. into the Blue Beetle for the first time. Why did you want the scene to unfold like that? Well, one of the main turning points as we were developing was like, good luck keeping a secret from your Latino mom. Yes, I so, knew like, it. So like, we honed into the fact that also the moment that your mom knows something about you and you turn around and then the rest of the family the knows aunties know. everything. Yeah. And then you go outside and the whole community knows about <laughs> it. So we're like, why not bring them into the action? Because if we are superheroes ourselves, we know the individual trope, but what if we trust in our family and our community to make us the superheroes that we were meant to be? Oh, I love that so much. Uh, this is the first time we are seeing a Latino lead in a major superhero film. Uh, Latinx characters in Hollywood, you've pointed this out already, they can often be misrepresented. Mm -hmm. uh, they can be attached to really harmful stereotypes. What did you do and how did you work with the actors to make sure none of that showed up here? Well, first, uh, right off the bat, we made sure that the, 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 the words on the page reflected mm -hmm. uh, who we truly are and how we feel. Sure, we make fun of ourselves, we always do, mm -hmm. but we're honest people too and we can be heroes too. Yeah. So by honing into that and hiring people that are Mexican, yeah. right? Like not just first generation Mexicans in the US, but also hiring actors from Mexico to play these characters that are authentically themselves. They can always bring who they are into the characters without having anybody to tell them how to be Latino. So jumping with those stereotypes, we were able to be freely ourselves and not the depiction of Latinos that society wants us to be. And also, you know, I've spoken with other cultural groups who say when there's a group of people on a film set, the ability to call <coughs> out a stereotype if they see it is mm -hmm. there. 100%. Because everybody's on the same page. Yeah. Uh, this is a lot more than just a superhero yeah. movie. Uh, yeah, and I can see that it resonates with you. It touches on things like immigration, gentrification, the importance of family, which you've outlined. Why was it important for you to shine an element on all of those, or shine a light on all those elements? Well, for us, you know, the Latino experience is not a monolith. Like, there's a lot of flavors to our culture that it was impossible to touch of any other, all, all these specific uh, topics that affect us. But one of the things that I wanted to do is right off the bat, because this is the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. This is just the beginning, not just of Jaime Reyes, but hopefully of being able to see more Latino content being told by Latinos. So we wanted our hero, as opposed to live in this fake world where nothing yeah. affects them, we want him to feel relatable. So everything that happens to him and his family yeah. are situations that we all live in every day. Yeah. And we touch upon a lot of history, like you said, the gentrification aspect, like that's something that's affected me in Puerto Rico, uh, directly, yeah. but also like the interventionism 
of uh, American military complex throughout Latin America and the effects that that have caused ever since the neoliberalism started to get birth in South America. So many reasons to be excited about this. Yeah. It would be a great conversation. Thanks for coming in today. Of a course. reminder, Blue Beetle will open in theaters August 18th. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.